If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel or you've been watching me for long enough, you've probably seen me do a couple of videos on Proposition 19. And since it's such an important thing to so many of my clients, it has to do with taxes. This is huge for so many people. I wanna do a quick refresher for you today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ryan Schramm. I'm a realtor here in South Orange County and my channel is custom tailored to be all about the lifestyle here. What's it like to live here? and the housing market. What's it like to buy or sell a house? What is the health of the housing market at this point in time? So if you're interested in that, if you find value in that, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. So let's rewind a little bit. Before Proposition 19, here's what you had. Homeowners 55 years or older or severe or permanently disabled could apply to transfer their property tax basis if they met four criteria. Number one, you could take advantage one time and one time only. Number two, the home that you'd be switching the property tax basis to had to be in the same county or it had to be in a county that reciprocates. Number three, the new property had to be of equal or lesser value. And the fourth set of criteria, this all had to be completed. The new home had to be purchased within two years of selling the original primary residence. With the implementation of Proposition 19, homeowners now have more wiggle room and flexibility to take their original primary residence tax basis with them to a new home. All right, so what's happening under the new regulations for Proposition 19? Well, it's still 55 years of age or older or permanently or severely disabled. And the new one, if your home was destroyed in a wildfire, you can transfer the property tax from that original primary residence if the following applies. Anywhere in the state of California, that's new. Remember, it was only reciprocating counties before. Now you can transfer anywhere in the state of California. The second one, and this is huge, the transfer can take place regardless of value. So. If the primary residence sold for a million dollars and you were only paying $4,000 a year, for example, in property tax, you can now transfer that tax to a $2 million residence and keep the $4,000 original tax basis. Now, of course, you're gonna have to pay extra tax on the difference between a million and $2 million, but that's still a significant savings. Being able to do that offers a ton of savings and in that specific instance, that would save a homeowner $6,000 a year. Now, all of this still has to take place within two years, so that's the same as it was before. And finally, this can be done up to three times. That is huge. Now, I've had several of my clients take advantage of transferring their property tax basis. It's an incredible tool, and here's what you need to know if you plan on doing this. Number one, the setup for the transfer does not take place in the escrow. You need to have both the primary sold and the new house purchased. Then you're gonna go ahead and file for the new property tax to be in effect. So the second thing you need to know, where do you file? Prop 19 base year values are filed. You can find the paperwork online, but they're going to be filed in the county of where you purchased the last purchase the county that that's in, that's where you're gonna go online and get those forms and file them there. Now, if you're in the unique circumstance where you're actually going to purchase that end result property before you sell the original primary residence, that is okay. You can absolutely do that. You just need to sell the original primary residence within two years of purchasing the final destination home. Number four, this one's really cool. If you took advantage of Prop 60 or 90 in the past, as so many of my clients did, you still can go and utilize Proposition 19 for up to three times. Now in the fifth and final need to know, there's no time limit on which you had to occupy the original primary residence. It just needed to be your primary. Check with your CPA on that to make sure that it is qualified as your primary residence. But so long as that is true, you can apply for the Proposition 19 transfer. So basically Proposition 19, it allows for so much more flexibility and movement for people that were otherwise hamstrung or limited by living in a house with such a low property tax basis, take it with you. If you wanted to move somewhere and you couldn't because of that lower tax, 
you now have options and that's what Proposition 19 did for so many people. Now I have to disclaim, because there are complexities to this, it's very important to have a conversation with me and also with your tax pro to make sure that you do qualify for this before you go off and set up a strategy to complete a Proposition 19 transfer. So make sure you reach out to me, reach out to your CPA, and we can coordinate for you. I'm gonna put up my cell phone number here on the screen. Shoot me a text message if you have questions on this. A lot of planning is involved, so it's important to reach out six months, 12 months, even two years before you plan on doing this so we can put the effective strategy in place. I look forward to hearing from you.